Hey guys, how are you? Mind this one, Titanium. Welcome back. Just want to go back in time, and I do this occasionally. Uh, you want to know what you were saying uh, about a year ago, and you want to see how right you were, how wrong you were, what you missed, what you got right. And um, last October 7th, that's this video here, October 7th. I had turned bearish, and uh, somebody was running around saying that uh, ISMs don't matter, you know, we're a service-based economy, blah, blah, blah. And I kept looking at the, uh, at the PMI, manufacturing, ISMs, sorry, and, and I was like, you know, this, <laughs> this thing doesn't look right. Yeah, but we're a service-based economy, you know. So what? Does that mean we don't have recessions? I mean, so I'll let the video uh, take it from here. And let's see what I was saying last year. Let's look at the facts. Well, if you go back, this is the zero line right here. And when you go back, what you're going to see is when the ISM starts coming down in a thrusty kind of way and it crosses zero, bad shit happens. Okay. Same thing back here. When you start seeing the ISM go straight down, get the fuck out. Right? Things don't look good. Pay attention. Well, what do we have now? Boom, straight down. Ooh, that doesn't look good. And and if you uh, if you notice, even here, right, it was above this this area, and when this started to tank, right, it was above this, and now again, it's above this one and we're going straight down but we're not a service we're not an industrial economy so it doesn't matter well yeah okay if this continues to go straight down like it's it's going and it doesn't have to come this low okay this was an extreme but if this continues to come on down bad shit is going to happen okay that's just the way it works now is this the holy grail of analysis of course not nothing has to happen but you better pay attention and be cautious. You know, these people, they, the perma bulls have, you know, their religion, okay? Just like the perma bears. They got their own religion. They'll just keep saying the same shit nonstop, no matter what. Nothing is ever good enough or, you know, nothing uh, is ever bad enough. So let's take a look. Right here. Below zero, coming straight down. What happened? Recession. Started coming down. Cross zero. What happened? Recession. Okay. Now, coming straight down. Where are we? Still at the top. If this continues on down, more likely than not, something bad is going to happen. Do we have to go into a recession in order to, to see a, a large drawdown in, in the market? Absolutely not. We went down 20% in December. No recession. But you took a 20% drawdown if you're lucky depends on what your portfolio look like other people got 30 40 percent okay. you don't need to go into a recession to see your account look like fucking syria here's another one oh to uh, that all right let's fast forward here we are today all right this is when i was saying it right it was touching the previous low here and everybody's like, whoa, we're a service-based economy. Don't worry about that, son. We don't care about manufacturing. We It's only about 16 17%. Right? And what happened? Oh, market went down 35%. And when it started to recover, what did the market do? It went straight up as well. Right? So, not paying attention to manufacturing is a mistake. Okay? When it starts giving you those signals, you better listen. You better listen. You better be cautious. It's not the holy grail of analysis. You have to look at the entire spectrum of all the data, analyze it, understand it, see what's popping out, see what doesn't look right, especially near tops. Right? and start seeing if there's more and more things that are not jiving. All right? 
All right, so let's continue with this video and let's see what else I said. Because again, this is not the holy grail of analysis. Let's continue. Never go into a recession, but that's the kind of stupid shit they run around telling people on uh, Facebook and social media. You know, oh, I got my six point model. Don't give a fuck about your six point model. And neither does the market and neither do people who have their hard earned money in the markets. They don't give a shit about your six point model. Nobody gives a shit about your six point model. Yeah, but the, the bears have been wrong for 10 years. That doesn't make you right. Okay, doesn't make you right. There's a time to be a bull and a time to be cautious and a time to be a bear. And if you're going to run around and tell people that you're this expert and you know everything and you're the man and everybody else is an idiot, well, you better give good advice. Otherwise, I have zero fucking respect for you. Zero. The red line is the unemployment uh, unemployment rate. Okay, and right now we're very low. Okay, 3.5. But again, I'm going to point it out. Every time that the ISM went straight down, what happened to unemployment? It skyrocketed. Came straight down. What happened to unemployment? It skyrocketed. It's coming straight down again. Unemployment is doing really good. Really good this time. Okay? Does that mean that the rate of change, and I'm not talking about the unemployment, I'm talking about the rate of change, if it starts to uh, to start to curl back up and this is coming straight down right more likely than not guess what we're gonna go back up all right and then yes then we'll probably be in a recession is there an indication that we're going into a recession based on the unemployment rate no the rate of change still continues to decline it's going in the right direction everything is fine but that does not mean that you should not be cautious in the markets and in your retirement accounts, okay? Uh, and that this cannot change next month or the next month or the next month or at some point, okay? And we have to remember that whatever is going on in the world, economically speaking, it's not necessarily the US. We're okay. It's the rest of the world that has a problem, okay? and eventually it's going to affect us just like ah oh, don't worry about the interest rates going negative internationally ha 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 yeah well <laughs> interest rates went from 325 all the way down to 130 something don't worry about it internationally well you see it's a ridiculous uh, assertion so uh all right be cautious that's what i said be cautious all right, so let's update the chart. You did not even have a moment to blink. Okay, you didn't have a moment to blink. Tell me about your six point model right now. Right, what did I say? I said this is going to start to go straight up. All right, but ISMs don't matter. I mean, the move was so ridiculously big and fast that if you were not paying attention in October, November, December, if you were not paying attention, you would have got massacred. Massacred. Okay? Now you're going to give me the argument that, well, look at the market went straight up. That's a different story. That's a, that's a different story. If you're going to give me the argument that, well, you know, you should have bought the dip. Well, you gotta f you got to sell first before you buy the dip. <laughs> can't buy the dip if you're already in it, right? And you can't have cash on, on, uh, on the side because you're bullish. Why the fuck would you have money on the side? Right? So you can't have it both ways. You can't have it always. Gotta, you gotta understand and the fact that it went to all-time highs in the Nasdaq looks great if you own those six seven stocks but the reality of the situation is that the vast majority of people they don't own only those six seven stocks they own many different stocks okay and I am telling you they did not perform in the same way the Nasdaq has or the six seven stocks um, that's that's one two uh, 
you're assuming that prices will not come back down. And that's a mistake. Okay, that's a mistake. You can't think like that because we seriously have an economic problem. And it's a prolonged economic problem. You can blame it on whatever you want, but it's still an economic problem. Okay? But the analysis a year ago was rock solid. No six point models, no crystal balls, no paid uh, special reports, nothing. All free. Anybody can look at it. All right. So, think about these things. Okay. Um, think about the analysis. You guys have been seeing, I've been doing some live trading, teaching some bare knuckle charting. You've seen how well that has been going. Right. We've identified inverse head and shoulders, normal head and shoulders. We've identified small moves. Okay. Um, we've, we've talked about that we're starting to create an M pattern and the likelihood is at some point we're going to go right back down right? market is not behaving properly a lot of volatility don't think we're out of the woods this is not a volcano that erupted and now it stopped and everything's going to go back to normal it's not a hurricane Katrina that okay came and caused destruction now we're going to rebuild it's not Fukushima. All right? It's a pandemic with deep economic, socioeconomic problems. So, I hope you guys found this, uh, you know, informative. The, the stuff I do is not necessarily it's going to happen tomorrow, next week, next month. Okay? But uh, the macro contrast with bare knuckle charting works um, it'll keep you on the right side and at the very least it'll give you a different perspective on things okay I'm not an entertainer uh, granted <laughs> I don't claim to be but um, I think it's good information valuable information and honest information all right hold me accountable save the tape all right guys I hope uh, you guys come down and subscribe. Patreon.com slash Rio Macro if it ever loads up. And it's not loading up. Come on, baby. There we go. Finally loaded. <laughs> All right. Patreon.com slash Rio Macro. Come on down and subscribe. 24-hour uh, live chats. All right. Take care. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.